Hello, hello. Today I am making three cards for the challenge over at Off The Rail Scrapbooking. The theme is black and white this month and I thought instead of doing a scrapbooking page I would make a set of three cards. I'm trying to use three different ways of using black and white. So for my first card I'm going to do some heat embossing on some vellum. Now I'm using scrapbook.com vellum and a stamp from Down Under Scrapbooking. It's an all over floral design. So I'm going to use my stamping platform to do this because um, I want to make sure I get a good coverage with the Versamark water more embossing ink. And uh, so I'm stamping that down with the ink. Then I'm going to cover it with Wow embossing powder. It's opaque bright white and um, give that a good all over cover and then use my heat tool to set it. I was a bit unsure about heat embossing this um, acetate as I hadn't used this before for heat embossing and I uh, was a bit tentative so I didn't heat the whole thing properly and I ended up with uh, around the edges being not such a great finish so I in what I ended up doing to fix that problem was trimming that panel down a little bit to go onto my card. As it worked out though the acetate didn't buckle at all. So I'm going with a black cardstock base for my card and I've cut that at ten and a half inches by five and a quarter inches and now I'm going to score at five and a quarter inches to make a five and a quarter inch square card base. I've trimmed my acetate down to be three inches wide and I've also cut a piece of black cardstock to be three inches. They are both five and a quarter inches long. Now I'm attaching that the acetate to my black cardstock using liquid glue. I have also cut two pieces of white cardstock that are one inch by five and a quarter inches. Now I'm going to add those strips of white to the edge of that panel so that I've got about a quarter of an inch showing on each side. This is just going to help that panel stand out from the black cardstock background. Before I add my panel to my card base, I'm going to add some scrap cardboard to the back of it so that it stands off of the card front. Then I'll use my liquid glue to attach that panel to the front of my card. The sentiment I'm going to use for this card comes from a uniquely creative pack and it says have a fantastic day it's white text on a black background so I'm going to just trim that out of the sheet of great sentiments and ink around the edges and then use liquid glue to attach that to my front panel so on to our next card for this one I'm using a white cardstock base a uh, card base so um, it's the same size as the previous one I've cut it at ten and a half and five and a quarter scoring at five and a quarter to make a five and a quarter inch square card base. So for this card I'm going to use a die. Now I don't know the brand of this die but if I can find it I will link it in the description box below. Um, I've cut this from, I've cut a couple of them actually because I couldn't decide which way I was going to go but I ended up going with the black one. I've cut it from black cardstock. Then I've mounted that onto a piece of white cardstock that is slightly bigger than the die. And then I've mounted that onto a black cardstock that is slightly bigger than that. So I've got a few layers happening there. Because this is going to be the only thing on the front of this card, um, I wanted to add a few layers to add a bit more interest to it. So the um, black die uh, cut is uh, what is three and three quarter inches by more four and three quarter inches so the white cardstock that I've mounted that on is probably only an eighth of an inch bigger because it's only got about a sixteenth of an inch all around and then the black cardstock behind that is five and a quarter inches long so 
fills up the whole uh, card front and four and one eighth inches wide. Now um, I got I decided also to add no I didn't didn't put any card behind this and um, so it's sitting flat on the card front. The sentiment comes from the same pack of sentiments from Uniquely Creative so I've just trimmed that down added a bit of um, scrap cardboard behind it and then attached it to the card front. So a pretty quick and easy card to make but quite striking I think. You could do this with any colour and you could even mix colours if you wanted to make a more colourful one but I think the black and white is uh, quite striking. So don't forget that I will put links in the description box below to all of the products that I can find that I use. Now we're on to card number three three um, I've cut a white panel for this one um, I am going to use a white card base and it will be the same size as the others but I'm just uh, working on a card panel at the moment so I'm using a, a woodware stamp called um, mini scented bloom and I'm using my VersaFine onyx jet black ink to stamp onto that panel and I'm going to use my clear embossing powder to set those flowers. Now I'm going to just stamp randomly on the background. I think I'm going to end up creating four flowers here um, on the background. So yes, I'll stamp them and then heat emboss them as I said. I'm using my Tim Holtz stamping platform for this. It makes it a bit easier um, so that you don't have to worry about whether you're getting your stamps in the correct position or not. I also stamped and heat embossed one flower on its own um, in the same way that I did the others. This time though I'm going to fussy cut that so that it becomes my focal element. Now I'm going to trim my heat embossed panel down to four and three quarter inches square and mount that onto a piece of black cardstock that is five inches square. Time now to fussy cut my focal point and um, I don't think this stamp actually comes with a die but it's pretty easy to cut out so even if it did come with a die I probably wouldn't bother. So it's pretty easy to fussy cut. I'm using my little um, colour B scissors to do that. Nice sharp pointy nose. Work a treat. I wanted to mount that flower onto some black cardstock of some sort but I couldn't decide exactly how to do that. So um, I played around here for a while with some black cardstock and still couldn't make my mind up so I went ahead and inked around all of my cardstock and my focal flower and then attached those to the card front while I was thinking about what I was going to do next. So I had a fossick around in my dies and I found this stitch diamond dies and um, so I used those. I cut a with the largest die out of black cardstock and I'm going to use that to attach my flower to. I'm going to attach the flower to the black cardstock flat and then I'm going to put cardboard behind the diamond shape before I attach that to the front of the card. I haven't added a sentiment to this card because I figured that it could be used for anything and I might just leave this one until I decide what I want to use it for. So that's my set of cards for today. I hope you've enjoyed watching my video. If you have, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and um, if you click the bell next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified each time I upload a video. I try and upload probably about once a week or maybe three times a fortnight so but yeah well thank you for joining me here today and i hope you can join me for my next video bye